In this video, I wanted to show you how you can create your own APIs and monetize them. You most probably have some great startup ideas or you have built out some infrastructure already and you would like to monetize that. But maybe developing an entire app is not feasible or you're only interested in providing the correct data, calculations and a certain service for applications to use later onwards. For that, sites like Rapid API exist where you can actually find a ton of other APIs and use them. Some of them are free, for some you will have to pay and you can create your own API, host it or better said register it with Rapid API and you can earn money by anyone using your API. You can specify how much a call should cost, how many credits someone can buy and so on and so forth. So in this video, we are going to create our own simple API that is going to return the current price of cryptocurrencies. We can type in a symbol and we can also type in an amount and this is going to return the current price. So for example, I used Bitcoin here and the current price is 64,000. So this is nothing special, but a simple Node.js API using Express and CoinMarketCap. So let us start and create this ourselves. Let's upload our code to an AWS EC2 instance, register an account with Rapid API and start selling our API. So the first thing that you will need to do is go to Rapid API and sign up there. I'm not going to go through that process. I have already created an account, so I'm just going to log in. After you have created your account, you can go to My APIs and you can create a new API. So in this case, I have already created an example API, but basically what you would need to do is go to Add New API add some description, name, you can type in whatever you would like. This is our test2 API. Let's say it's in the business category and then you go to add API. So basically how this is going to work is by redirecting the requests that go to Rapid API to your own service. So in this case, I have already created an API here and we are going to redirect all the calls going to Rapid API to our own web server running our Node.js application. So as of now, you can type in your website URL, but you don't need to do. And the next step would be to add some endpoints. And you can add any endpoints you would like. So for example, an info endpoint. What we need to do before that is add a base URL and this is our base URL. So then we can specify our endpoints. You can also create GraphQL and REST endpoints. In this case, you're going to create a REST endpoint and this is going to be our test endpoint and this can be slash info, for example. And in this case, we would have query parameters, which would be symbol, which is a string, it is required and we can also add the amount or we need to add the amount, which is also required. And now you can also see how that request would look like. This is going to a test REST endpoint from Rapid API, which is going to proxy that request to our web server. As of now, this would result in a 503 because there is nothing being returned from our own web server. So now we have our test endpoint here and we can already test it. So if we go to the testing tab here, we can create a new test. I'm going to name this test1.1 and click OK. And basically we can call our test endpoint here. So this should return a 502. This means that the proxy where our request is going is returning a 500 error. So the next step is to actually develop our application. So for that, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open a new terminal here and type npm in it to create our package.json files. So I'm just going to leave everything here as it is. And now we're going to add the dependencies that we need. So for that, I'm going to use a boilerplate um, REST example in Node.js, which is using Express. 
So I'm going to paste the scripts here, the standard scripts for starting, developing. We're going to use Nodemon so that we can refresh our browser, uh, refresh our uh, instance when developing. We're also going to use Jest for testing. Uh, We're going to use Express Helmet for HTTP stuff. And we're also going to use request for sending those HTTP requests to CoinMarketCap. So this brings us to the next point, registering for CoinMarketCap. If we go back to our browser here, I have already created an account. Creating an account is pretty simple and straightforward, so I'm not going to explain it here. But when you have an account, you're going to have some free credits, which you can use completely free. Then you have the documentation here when clicking on API documentation. And I'm basically using, I just want to get the price. So in order to get the price, um, you need to go to price conversions. And in price conversions, you can specify a symbol and you're going to get the current price for that cryptocurrency. As you can imagine, you can do a lot more here. And basically everything that you see on CoinMarketCap there is an API for that as well. But I'm going to keep this as simple uh, as possible for the sake of this tutorial. Let's return to our code here and start building out the project. First of all, we're going to have a source folder. Inside of that source folder, we're going to have a middleware folder. We're also going to have a routes folder. And we're going to have our app.js file. So let us create an index.js file and don't worry, this is going to be available on GitHub so you can download this. So let us first um, define our express here, which is going to require express. We are also going to use request. So we are going to require request. And then basically, since using request, there is a quite thorough documentation on this. Um, so basically, let us uh, set up our router here and just copy the documentation from GitLab for the request library. So we are going to specify a router, get. So this is going to be a get endpoint. We are going to have a request and response. And here goes our code. So next, we're going to have our options. And we are also going to use our query parameters. So the query parameters are going to be symbol is going to be request query symbol. And we're also going to have the amount, which is going to be request query amount. And we're just basically going to forward this request further. So this is a great example of proxying. Um, Rapid API is proxying to our web server, which is then again proxying to our uh, to coin market cap server. Now I'm also just going to paste this code here, which is just um, for sending the response and requesting that data using the options we have provided here using our request library. We get our body back, we need to parse it, and we extract the data that we are going to use here. The next part is also a lot of boilerplate code, so I'm just going to paste this in here so we don't lose too much time. Basically, this um, can be found anywhere on the internet, and you can also um, just go to my GitHub link that will be linked in the description down below and just download some boilerplate code to set up express.js. So basically our little web server looks almost ready. Um, the next step is going to be to deploy this to AWS. So I have logged into my AWS account here. So most probably you will need to create your own account or you, you don't even need to deploy this to AWS. You can run this locally and reroute this to your local instance. But if you really want to serve more traffic, it makes sense to use either a server or a cloud provider like AWS. So what you would need to do is launch an EC2 instance, configure an Apache server or Tomcat server and upload uh, or basically clone this code from GitHub and run it there. 
I have another explanation how to do exactly that in a different video. So in order not to make this video too long, I'm just going to link the other video in the description down below. So once you have deployed this code and it is running in the AWS environment, you can go and test this service. So in our case, um, this is the test endpoint from Rapid API that was provided. Oh, service unavailable. So this can mean only one thing. And this is that our server crashed here. So what I have done here is just created a folder Rapid API, downloaded or cloned um, our code from GitHub and just run it here. So basically all I'm doing is npm run dev. And hopefully this should be working now. Yeah. So we can also see it in the logs that this request was just redirected over Rapid API to our AWS instance. So I know I haven't explained everything into detail here, but I have different videos for explaining exactly that. If you would like to have maybe a full blown tutorial on this, let me down in the comments below where I would create a more complicated app to show you exactly from zero to 100% how to set this up. But if you would like a shorter and skimmed down version where you just get the glimpse of it and you can find out the details missing in my other videos, this is the perfect video to get started with Rapid API and maybe monetizing your own APIs. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.